Hello there, Pisces. How's it going? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly. I'll be doing the read here. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. And let's see what's going on with you guys. <clears throat> All right. What is going on with Pisces? Let's see what's going on. Urus, huh? Urus in reverse. Urus means strength, all right? Um, when it's in reverse, it's talking about missing out on something. It could be like losing, missing out on an opportunity or missing out on something for something. Um, but we'll have to see. We'll have to continue to, to see. <laughs> can also uh, mean lack of motivation as well as exhaustion. And then we have uh, Iwas. And you know, I just said lack of motivation um, and, uh, you know, just feeling really exhausted. And with Iwas here in reverse, it's kind of like talking about, you know, not having, you know, the traction that you need. You know, I think Pisces, a lot of, a lot of us need to get more sleep. Okay. There could be some sleep issues going on with some of us. <clears throat> um, and this can be um, some sort of a, this is talking about travel as well. It could be, all right? With it in reverse, it means like maybe a delay or something in travel. What's going on with Pisces? Well, you know, at least there's money coming in. <laughs> Fei who's very, very positive. It's talking about money. It, it, if, you know, if money is not an issue with you guys, then this can also talk about good health, okay? But either way, it's very, very positive. It's talking about money or health. And so that's, that's good. What else is going on with Pisces? <clears throat> Pertho. And Pertho is not in reverse. It's in the forward, so it's not bad. So, you know, what Pertho here is saying, Pisces, is that things are not as bad as they may look, all right? Things may look a little bleak in, a, in, in, in some sort of a sense, <clears throat> but um, in another sense, things are looking really, really good. <laughs> I see money right there. And that, you know, things are not bad. This is, uh, this is just, you know, Pertho means unknown, but this is something that uh, is usually very, very positive. And with it here in this slot, it's saying that things are not as bad as they appear, all right? Things are much, much better than they look. But like I say, you can't see it. This is kind of like, in a way, sort of, you know, it reminds me of the moon card in a way. It's quite a bit different, but um, yeah. I mean, the moon, you're in the dark. First of all, you're kind of in the dark too. Othala, Othala. Well, now Pisces, this is interesting. Now this, this could, um, 
this this could be uh, this could be a family member. This could be a family member. I see Fehu here. This is money. So money's looking money's looking good. This is this is a family member here. This family member missed out on something. Maybe this family member had to go to work and 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 didn't get a chance to travel like they wanted to. It could be something like that. You could be dealing with an Aries. Oh, Pisces. Menez, Menez. Well, you know, Menez is really very positive as well. It's, um, it's, it's for sure. It's talking about some sort of assistance to 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 us, Pisces. This is assistance. Yeah. Hmm. You know, and I'm thinking also now that I'm looking at Othala, you know, this is Pisces energy too. This very well could be um, not only a family member, it could be you as well that, you know, you don't get to travel like you wanted to maybe because of uh, some sort of uh, deal to make money. Hmm. But Menez is, uh, th this is Menez, this is uh, very positive. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's very, very positive. It's uh, some sort of assistance of some sort. Hajalez, whoops, Hajalez. Uh, Aries, Aries energy again. Yeah, you're probably de dealing with an Aries, Pisces. Um, but Hagelez is kind of like shocking, you know. Um, but the thing about Hagelez is you can always control what you do. You can't necessarily control what others do, um, you know. And this could very well be, and I know how Aries people are, you know, they can be, um, they can be hot, hot tempered at times, <laughs> you know. But, uh, you know, I think that everything is looking really good, quite honestly, you know, especially with Pertho right there, things definitely, um, you know, I kind of feel that maybe uh, things got a little bit blown out of proportion or something, you know what I mean? But things ain't bad at all. And then we have... Um, Inguaz. Inguaz is pro creative energy. It reminds me of money. If you if you if you um, if you if you're in business or anything like that, Pisces, this is very positive. This is Aquarius energy, but it's very very pro creative energy. It's something um, that's going to propel you yourself very forward in life. It's going to give you something, um, you know, it's going to propel that money, yeah, which I like. Everybody likes that, right? <laughs> what else is going on with Pisces? Wow, how interesting. Pertho, again, but it's, see, it's in the upright. Things aren't as bad as they think, as they seem, okay? Things are not, this isn't really that big of a deal, okay? So maybe uh, somebody had to go to work, you know? They could be a little bit unhappy about it, but oh well. You know, it pays off, right? It pays off. Money's coming. Um, and like I said, Pisces, you know, you could have some sort of assistance coming your way, Um uh, you know, for sure, money, and things aren't as bad as they look. For sure, let's pull some. Let's pull some cards out and see what else is going on. Oops. Oh, that 
was a trip. The justice card just flipped out. But I put it back. If it comes out, it comes out again. <clears throat> well, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is talking about moving forward in your in your life, and this is move. This is forward moving right here. This is uh, moving forward. Uh, however, it looks like there's something here distracting you. All right. So. Um, my first impression here is I see something here that is distracting you. Look at something's grabbing that stick. Stay focused, Pisces, okay? Stay very focused. What else is going on with Pisces? I want to see why this is here. Why is the Seven of Pentacles there? Wow, see the Ace of Wands, okay? So the Ace of Wands is is uh, a new beginning, something that's going to grow. Keep moving forward, whatever it is that you're doing, Pisces, and, you know, try your very best to not be distracted. Something's going to probably distract you. And what the um, ob objective here is, is to continue on doing what you're doing uh, despite any distractions, all right, because you've got a wonderful new beginning here with the Ace of Wands, and this is something that's going to grow, just like what I see over here with Inguas. This is something that's going to grow. What else is going on with Pisces? Wow, see, look at this, the Six of Swords. Some of you guys could actually be moving. You know, I feel that some of you guys could be actually moving residents. Um, and for the rest of us, uh, it's just moving into a more, um, more type of glamorous type of life because you can see over here, she's coming from, there's really nothing over here. There's nothing behind her. But over here, there's lush green and, and there's all kinds of red roses too. And then she's got the Ace of Wands in her hand. So there she goes, there's the Ace of Wands there. There's the Ace of Wands right there. So this is moving into a, um, a more type of, better type of life. Yeah, especially, and it's gonna grow. It's gonna get better. See, especially with the Ace of Wands there in her hand. Hmm. Interesting. What else is going on with Pisces? Whoops. Oops, come on now. <laughs> Six of Cups. Huh. You know, somebody could be coming from your past, Pisces. Somebody could be popping in from your past. If that's the case, um, that could be your distraction. So if somebody from your past is coming up, you know, just keep keep focused, all right? Keep focused. Um, yeah, Hadjulez is talking about something shocking as well. So, um, yeah, somebody from your past. Huh. That's probably why you're not focused. This is probably why, this is probably why um, you've got this right here distracting you. And, you know, and I just kind of flipped the cards up and the King of Swords kind of came up here too. So, you know, this is uh, some sort of um, authority figure or um, this is also um, Aquarius energy. So, you know, maybe you're going to be hearing something from someone from your past, um, from some sort of a, uh, authority figure, or this, this uh, person from your past is an authority figure of some kind. It could be something like that. Or this person could be um, have Aquarius in their chart. Huh. What else?
Well, you got the high priestess, the high priestess. So I think that maybe uh, some secrets are going to be coming to light here, Pisces. Yeah. Uh, something, something is hidden here and something is going to be revealed. Like I said, the Pertho here is talking about the unknown. All right. Now, if this is something that is unknown to you, you're going to find out, all right? Now, if you're keeping something from someone, um, you're going to have no problem keeping it from them. <laughs> yeah, it can go the other way, too. So, yeah. Now, if Pertho was in reverse and you were trying to keep a secret, it would be hard. But with it in the forward, if you're trying to keep a secret, you know, I mean, I don't think it's that way, though. I think somebody's going to tell you a secret, something something from your past. Yeah, that's the way I kind of feel. Bottom of the deck, we got the, the Queen of Cups. That's us, you know. This is loving and caring, you know. It is. And uh, then the hermit underneath that, Virgo energy. Interesting, interesting reading. Let's um, pull some moon cards out here. What's going on with Pisces? Your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off, Pisces. Like I said, things aren't as bad as they seem. <laughs> and I see Fehu, <laughs> that's money. What else is going on with Pisces? Or health, money or health. The energy is gaining momentum. Okay, so that's really good. That's really good. And at the bottom of the deck, it says a new start is coming, new moon. All right, Pisces, I really like this. This is kind of awesome. Um, and let's get into the um, birthday runes right now, okay? All right, so now if you're new, you guys, welcome. Um, and I do birthday runes every day with the reading because it helps narrow down the read a little bit. And it's kind of interesting. Um and so we have three different runes, Pisces. The first rune we have is Soilo. And this for Pisces, born um, February 19th to February 27th. So if you're born on those dates, this is going to be your rune. And then we have Tiwaz. And Tiwaz is for Pisces, born February 28th to March 14th. So if you're born in between those dates, this is your rune. And then we have Barkana. And Barkana is for Pisces, born um, March for, March 15th to March 20th. All right, Pisces? And if you could, let, let me know what rune is yours, okay? Let me know if yours, if you fit into Soilo or Tiwaz or Barkana. Now, like myself, I, I, my birthday is on the 28th, so both of these runes are going to be mine because it's right on the cusp. So if you're born on the 27th or the 28th, both of these will be yours, okay? Same goes over here. If you're born on the 14th or the 15th, both of these runes will be yours, all right? All right, so let's get right into it. Okay. So what's going on with Pisces? Born February 19th to February 27th. He was. Wow, I like that. Tiwaz. So now, um, Pisces Tiwaz is uh, forward movement, and it's also victory and success. So, you know, I see a great victory, and I see success. Um, I'm trying to find the card here. <laughs> oh, that's the, the guy. I'm just, duh. <laughs> but there's Tiwaz, okay? Victory and success, uh, forward movement. All right. I like it. It's also male energy, too. What, is, what else is going on with Pisces? 
So you could be dealing with the, you know, um, you could be dealing with uh, a male. Oh, Pisces, born February 19th to February 27th. <sighs> Alim, Alim. Okay, that's the one I always get mixed up with with the other one. But this one here, you can tell, look at her. She's pregnant, okay? You can see that. So somebody that's watching me, you know, is probably pregnant. Um, let me get the book here and see what that has to say. And I've also noticed too with, uh, with these runes here, they don't necessarily mean everything that they say because it could just be only a part of it. I've noticed that a lot. But uh, with Tiwaz here and the upward position with some sort of victory, this is definitely the meaning of Alim. Uh, joy, excitement, euphoria, uh, creation. This is kind of creative energy right here. It sure is. Pregnancy and spiritual awakening. So like I said, somebody could be um, pregnant, all right? And it says here, you might be at the threshold for something new and exciting, but be patient. Fir tree is known for its height and gives you a beautiful perspective that can change your opinion easily. A lean will make you rise above your current position and see things more clearly from above. So yeah, that's a really good one. So in other words, what I mean by it doesn't mean necessarily everything. I'm, what I'm saying is not everybody's pregnant. <laughs> You know what I mean? There's a lot of people that are watching me uh, that are born on in between these dates, and they're not pregnant. So, it, you, but the main the main thing what it's saying here is joy, excitement, you and euphoria. So, I like that. <laughs> All right, let's get one of these rings here. You know, I I want to pull one of these other cards out. These are kind of like these cards are something else. But, you know, I've kind of, like, noticed that, you know, they um, they do bring meaning. They're, they're different. Uh, they're kind of, like, a little bit on the shadow side. But they definitely add character to the read. So I'm going to use them. What's going on with Pisces born February 19th to February 27th? Ah. And this is a very good one here. It says, um, healing clarity, amplify your emotions and bring your shadows to the surface to heal them. So yeah, bring those shadows to the surface so you can heal them. All right, I like that. All right, now we'll get one of these runes. <laughs> What's going on with Pisces for an... February 19th to February 27th. There you go, male energy. This is talking about male. Tiwaz is male energy too. Uh, this is not Tiwaz, this is just a forward arrow, but um, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It does mean male energy, so you, you're definitely dealing with some sort of a, you're dealing with a male. And if you're not dealing with a male, then it's you, Pisces, okay? Yeah, this is either your energy or somebody else's energy. And since I see it twice, you know, for many of you, it could be, it could be uh, your energy as well as another, pers another person's energy too. Yeah. All right, you guys. All right, so let's get in here to the next uh, birthday rune. And this is Tiwaz, again. <laughs> and Tiwaz is for Pisces, born February 28th to March 14th. So let's get one of these runes out here and see what is going on with Pisces, born February 28th to March 14th. Huh. Jera. Jera. I like that. Jera is 
um, it's like a surprise. But it's not just a surprise, it's a breakthrough. It's a breakthrough after a long period of suffering uh, something. So if something has been really bought, or, you know, something, you know, in here it is right here. If something's been really bugging you, this is a promise here that that's going away. You know, and I feel that a lot of you have been, you know, maybe struggling with money. But that's going to go away because I see Fehu in the upright there. So this is kind of like all of a sudden. It's not, it's not really, um, it's not slow. It's actually very quick and it's like all of a sudden, bam. Like, huh? huh? Yeah, it's like that. It's a breakthrough too. It's very, very positive. Um, and it's also talking about balance. You can see that these two are balanced. Yeah. Balance for sure. Yeah. All right. So I like that. Um, Jera is also the marriage rune too, believe it or not. Yeah. As you can see, you know, uh, they're kind of like intertwined like that, you know. What else is going on with Pisces? Born February 28th. To March 14th. Ah, bravery. Yeah, you're gonna have a breakthrough, Pisces, for sure. You're gonna have a, a, a you're gonna have a, a breakthrough, and you're gonna be really brave about it because I can see this Hagelaz over here, which is kind of shocking, and it could be, um, you know, yeah, you know when you know what I mean. When something shocking happens, you kind of like stuck there for a second. You don't really. Um, you're not really too 100% sure. Let's see what it is here. Um, try to find it. find it, here it is. <clears throat> okay, so the name of this rune here is called Ea. And this is the Aspen tree. And um, the meaning of this rune is bravery and overcoming fears and worries about the future. Um, yeah, so it, you're gonna overcome this is this Jerry here. This is a breakthrough. It's going to be overcoming uh, some sort of um, fear or worry. It's going to go away. It's, it's so true. Um, Ea, which represents the visual quake of aspen tree, symbolizes how accepting your fears and worries may make you stronger and help you overcome them. Remember, aspen tree is quite strong yet flexible. Remember this while trying to overcome difficulties. Ea can also represent the enlightenment and connection with the universe through altered consciousness, through meditation and dreams. So you could be, like I say, Pisces, you know, these don't necessarily mean everything that I say. It just means like whatever best applies to your life. Um, a lot of us are, are going to be, um, you know, having for sure some sort of uh, altered consciousness uh, through meditation. Meditation is awesome. So if you can really sit down and, and meditate, you know, honestly, every time I do a reading, I feel that, that altered consciousness kind of feeling. I can't really explain it to you. Um, but yeah, that's what it's talking about. It's also talking about being brave, too, because, um, you know, life is not an easy task. What else is going on with Pisces born February 28th to March 14th? Addiction. Ah. Uh -huh. Addiction. So if you guys are have, if anybody that's watching me, this is the second time that I pulled this card out here. It says compulsive need for negative. It says addiction, compulsive need despite negative consequences. So if you like need something, you know, like you're, if, if you have any, um, any addiction problems, it's time to get rid of them. Okay. It's time to get rid of any addictions that you may have. That's like something, um, you know, that you need to let go of. 
And, you know, and it does take a lot of bravery to do that. See, and this card here is talking about bravery. And the good news here is with Jera, that's a breakthrough. So, you know, maybe some of you guys are really seriously um, going to, you know, put, put down some sort of addiction. Yeah. Especially if it's causing you negative consequences. You know what I mean? If it's not causing you any problems, then, you know, there's really no addiction, I don't think. But if it's causing you, you know, negative, you know, negative problems, then it's time to stop. <laughs> and take it from me, I know. What's going on with Pisces? Yeah, I had a liver transplant, you know, so. Oh, you got the sun. The sun. So the sun is, you know, abundance, happiness, joy. So this is really good news, Pisces. This is good news, and it's talking about healing and vitality. So, you know. Like I said, many of you are giving up some sort of an addiction, and, and that's good. And with the sun and Jera, that's that's super, super good. That's a breakthrough. Yeah, that's a breakthrough for sure. Well, all right, Pisces, let's get into the next, um, let's get into the next birthday rune. This is um, for Pisces, born March 15th to March 20th. What's going on with Pisces born March 15th to March 20th? Oh, you got uh, Menez. Menez. And Menez is talking about some sort of assistance. There it is right here. Assistance. You know, Menez means a few things. Um, in a general reading, it's usually talking about some sort of assistance. Um, I think I mentioned yesterday, too, about Menez. Um, one of the aspects of Menez is, you know, um, is feeling a little fed up with, you know, all the bureaucracy and the, and, uh, the crap that you have to go through to do some certain things that you want to do. Yeah. What else is going on here with Pisces born <clears throat> March 15th to March 20th? Gort. Gort. Well, wow, that's a really good one there, Pisces. Gort. Let's see what it's talking about. I'm pretty sure it's good. They're, most of them are very, very good. <laughs> There's only a few that are kind of a little bit negative. All right, so this is the ivy tree, Pisces. And uh, the meaning of this is spirals, stubbornness, wildness, development, abundance, gratitude, rest, and reawakening. All right, so another, th another thing I want to emphasize uh, for you guys, too, and I'm feeling it strongly, is, you know, try to get some sleep. It seems like you need more sleep. And this is what it says here. It says, beautiful curves of ivies symbolize our soul's search for the meaning, our DNA, and galaxies in the universe. Celts saw spirals as representatives of life and soul, showing us how we can grow and expand. Ivies also represent ambition with its ability to grow under conditions that most plants cannot survive. Use your unique abilities to overcome obstacles that seem impossible while pursuing your goals and dreams. Be persistent even if growth or progress may seem slow. However, never uh, forget the importance of rest that way you'll have stable and regular energy to stay strong. And so even, even this is telling you to make sure that you get your rest. Okay. <laughs> get some rest, you guys. Yeah. What else is going on here with Pisces born March 15th to March 20th? No boundaries, no boundaries. So I like this too. 
difficult to establish healthy respect. Take care to ensure your needs are met. Okay, so I like this Pisces because this this is really is telling you what you need to do. Take care to ensure your needs are met. Okay, your needs, not somebody else's needs, <laughs> your needs. Okay, and I know how that goes. You know, we always want to, um, you know, give and give and give, but you know, it's kind of like. It's time to give to yourself, for sure. What else is going on with Pisces? From March 15th to March 20th. Circle, circles, okay, so this is social circles. So I was telling you to get out there and socialize, yeah. Take, you know, ensure what your needs, you know, ensure that your needs are met, all right? I like it. So there you have it, Pisces, and I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. If you haven't, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces, see you tomorrow. Bye for now.